All right, so on the 15th of March last year, uh, a small group of my friends, a small, you know, a small number of my friends around the world, uh, they know what happened. They watched this live on YouTube when it did happen. Um, what I did was I put in a Freedom of Information Act uh, to the Australian Federal Police, um, just politely saying, like, boy, can you give us the body cam footage? Um, and they said, yeah, no worries. Uh, and so what happened is they, um, they sent me an email. It took them about two fucking months. And they sent me an email and they said, um, righto, we've sent you a package. Uh, and I'm like, I'm like, what sort of package have you sent me? Because it better not be a CD or otherwise we're going to have problems. Um, because I don't have a CD drive or a DV drive on my computer because I don't live in the fucking past, you know? Um, and they came back and said, yeah, it's a CD. And I'm like, fuck's sake. All right. So they sent me this CD that I can't use and it's just sitting in my... I don't even know if it's a CD or a DVD because it's just a blank optical disc that it doesn't say anything on it. And um, it's just sitting there doing nothing on my desk. So um, I went back to them and I said, listen, we've got to fix this up. All right, because that's not acceptable. And... See, so the thing about what... <laughs> the thing about what some people might not understand is... This is the Australian government we're talking about. Now, there's other go government departments, I know this, because it's an IT thing. They still use fax machines because they think it's secure. Like, more secure than other forms of communication that were invented after 19 fucking 82, right? But they still use fax machines for that reason. Uh, so, if that doesn't scare you about the people running our country, well, then it fucking should. But anyway, um, so this is this is the day. Uh, oh, so sorry, they came back and they came back and they emailed me and they said, "What if we send you a USB drive? Would that be all right?" I'm like, "Of course it'd be all right. It's the fucking modern era. Of course a USB stick's all right. You're dead, these people." Anyway, so they sent me a USB stick. It arrived the other day, uh, and here's the video of it. Um, this video I'm making it because the number of, either, you know, the small group of friends that I have, especially the growing ones, uh, the, the, you know, the ones that grow, um, it's just for them to see what happened that day, um, just in case they're ever in this situation. Um, so, even though the video will be public, if there's anybody out there that stumbles across this video, uh, and they find me annoying, or they want to say something else negative, I don't care, don't bother. Because I don't give a shit what you think, all right? This is for my mates, um, so they can see what happened. It's also because it'll be interesting to see how the, my American mates compare the Australian Federal Police to their police and their FBI, and how they do things. You know, that'll be interesting to have a discussion about. So even if there are random strangers out there who do want to make a comment asking questions about, like, oh, what happened here? How come they said that? Yeah, yeah, fine. I'm happy to answer questions. But if you feel like being cockhead in the fucking comments, don't bother, trust me. All right, let's go. This is 7.15 in the morning. I don't know why, but the time and the date on the body, the body cams are like a day and a bit behind. Uh, I have no clue why, and I find it very weird for police evidence body cams to have the wrong date and time, but, but they are. It's 7.15 in the morning. I'm about 15 minutes away from waking up except they wake me up in about one minute. Um, also, it's gonna be silent for periods because they're censored it before they sent it to me and they've also blurred out some parts of it. So I can't help that, sorry. I do remember this morning vividly though, so there will be parts where I'll explain what I'm actually telling them and what they're saying to me, even though they've silenced it.
Please open up. So what's happening right now, apart from her knocking on the door like a fucking monkey, is I'm asleep. My housemate is in the shower. And he's just finishing up in the shower. So that's why he'll be dressed and I'll only have shorts on. Because what happened was, all of a sudden I woke up um, and my bedroom door is opposite his bathroom door. We've got two bathrooms in, in the apartment. His bathroom door is opposite my bedroom door, and all of a sudden I woke up at 7.15 and I'm like, what the fuck was that noise? What the... Holy shit. Now, I sleep in my birthday suit. So what I did was I opened my door just a little bit so I could stick my head out. And there's there's my, my housemate. He's, he's opened the bathroom door, looking at me quizzically, and I'm looking at him quizzically. I said, is someone banging on the door? She sounds like she knocks, like, lightly, but trust me, it was loud. I said, is someone knocking on the door? He goes, I think so. And now, because I'm naked, and I'm just sticking my head out the door, he goes, I said to him, can you, like, because he was dressed. I said, can you please check who that is? Because if some dickhead's knocking on my door at 7.15 in the morning, and I don't know who you are, I'm going to fucking find out real quick. I just need to put shorts on first, all right? So that's what I did, and I started putting my shorts on, I'm halfway through pulling them up, they're about at my knees, and I realised, oh fuck, that's a cop's knock. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, alright, this is going to be a good morning. Jesus Christ. Alright, here we go. And so, um, that, this is this is why I come out and I'm all tired, and, and um, we have to put the shorts on. If Cliff, my mate Cliff, is watching this, you're going to love it. Nipples everywhere. Please, we've got a search warrant for the premises. Do you mind if we come in and have a chat? Um, he just dogged me out straight away. Straight away. You know, he, he didn't care if I grew, but he was actually a lawyer for the federal government and he'd been a lawyer for over 30 years. Uh, he was a divorcee, that's why he was living with me, because, um, you know, he, he got divorced. Um, but we had a good conversation and I said to him, because even though technically it is my house, I can do whatever the fuck I want, I still have that respect of, bud, do you mind if I fucking go? And he's like, yep, yeah, no worries. You know, when I finished law school, I went to Amsterdam for a little while and we had a good time, but yeah, I don't smoke it anymore. And, and I said, yeah, 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 that's cool. All right, as long as you're all right with it, fine. And as soon as he opens the door, what does he say? Yeah, my housemates. It's like, you fucking... We're gonna have to have a chat, buddy. <laughs> no Hi, mate. What's yeah. your name? Joe. See, so, yeah, I don't have my glasses on. I'm tired as fuck, because you just woke me up. And I've got to deal with you, your shit. And I'm pretty certain at least half of my crop's gonna go. So I don't even know why they censor the whole screen. Like, were they just lazy when they censored it? So I just censor the whole thing. It's fucking annoying. So there were about there, there were about eight coppers there that day. That's the blonde one. The one, yeah. the one, the copper talking. She's the brown haired one. You, executing you. a search warrant um, that the court has given us. Um, You're all right, mate. The re the reason why I said that is because he was visibly nervous. He was a nervous wreck. He was shitting himself, mate. He was still rattled by nine pm when he came home. He went to the pub after work, which is not normal for him, because he was still rattled. Um, and then he moved out six weeks later because he was still rattled then. So, but, <laughs> but he was visibly nervous. Um, like that, that's why I said to him, "You're all right, mate." Because um, I've already told the cops. I don't know why they didn't record it. There's a lot they didn't record. Um, the whole thing went for like three hours, uh, and I've only got about forty. What is it? Forty-six minutes of it, and it just they they keep turning their body cams off. 
Uh, but there were some fucking gold moments in there. I'm spewing that they missed them. Um, but they seem to only record when there's like official discussions going on, I suppose. It's the only fucking reason I can think of. But, but I said to him, you're all right, mate. Like, you're not going to get in trouble. And I don't know why she fucking muted it. Because what I said to him was, you're all right, mate. You're not going to get in trouble. Don't worry about it. I know what's going on. I've already, you know, they know it's me. It's not you. It's not us. It's me. All right? So if anyone's going to get in trouble, it's me. But I knew all, all I was going to get was either a $100 fine or a formal caution. And who cares a shit about either of them? So I just screw it. Just to see, because, you know, it was just a gamble. Either the cops come or they don't. Who cares? A hundred dollars or a caution. Yay. Fucking who cares? But he's visibly shaken, man. I could tell because I knew him well. He was fucking not having a good time that boy. So, um, as part of the search warrant that we have, pro forma that we need to go through in relation to giving you your rights and that kind of thing. So, I'm just going to do that. Uh, my body cam here will be recording it, just so you're informed of what's happening today. It can take a little while, uh, but I just have to go through the procedural things, all right? You, you'll notice what that cop in the background did. I think it might have been, it was either one of the detectives or it was a detective sergeant who was grumpy as fuck that day. Um, the rest of them was, you know, sort of cool. Well, as cool as they could be. But um, he just fucking picked up my chair, my dining room chair, and put it in front of the TV so she could sit on it. Um, it's like, yeah, just move my furniture around, mate. You right? Whose house do you think you're in? <laughs> fucking hell. So the time is now 7.45am on Monday 15 March 2021 and when I refer to the times during this recording I'm going to be referring to my watch here. I'm, I'm not saluting, the, the sun's coming through the balcony window um, and it's hard to bloody see. The premises yeah. situated at Uni the Australian Capital Territory. Uh, I will record this conversation. Uh, and like I mentioned previously, this is in relation to a search warrant we have under Section 194 of the Crimes Act 1900. So, I'll just start with yourself. Could you just state your full name, address and date of birth? If anyone's wondering why I have butcher paper on the back wall there with writing all over it, there's a, possibly two or three people that know. Uh, then they're my mates. Uh, anyone else? It's none of your business. Don't bother asking. And no, it doesn't have anything to do with drugs. Like they thought it did. In fact, they analysed that wall, mate. They thought it was some sort of big fucking uh, cartel bloody instruction kit or some shit. Some of the questions they were asking my housemate were one of the uh, was about the writing on our wall because they were suspicious that it was something to do with, with drug trafficking or something like that. It was ridiculous. See again, they just blurred the whole friggin' screen. Like, they only need to blur anything but myself. But they've just got lazy and blurred everything with dumbasses. Uh, 
I may ask you some questions in relation to the offence listed on the yeah. warrants. But before I do, I'm going to caution you and inform you of your rights. So I must caution you that you do not have to say or do anything, but anything you do say or do may be used in evidence. Do you clearly... All right. Um, let's get you to explain to me what your understanding of that is. Understanding of that? Yeah, the caution I just gave you. The caution I just gave you, that you do not have to say or do oh, anything. No, I totally understand. Okay. So this caution also applies to any questions that the other police may ask you. Um, I just have to go through some other questions. So, um, are you Aboriginal? I don't even know why they muted that, um, but she's asking me if I'm Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander. And the reason why the cops do that is because um, uh, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people sometimes have different rights um, to everyone else. Um, I'm not even going to comment whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, and I don't want anyone commenting on whether it is either, because just be respectful. But um, that's why, because the cops are basically just covering their ass, uh, because they may need to give me certain things if I am an Aboriginal person. I know this is obvious for anyone. Conversation. With, um, so communicate with or attempt to communicate with a legal practitioner of your choice or attempt to arrange for a legal practitioner of your choice to be present. Do you understand? Do you wish to communicate with a legal practitioner? I do, because um, after studying the law, I don't see the problems. So okay. I don't think you should do anything that's all right. No worries at all. Do you have a legal no, practitioner? No worries at all. All right, we'll, uh, we'll pause the recording for the purpose of you contacting a legal practitioner. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, leave a comment with... How many lies do you think I'd tell to these people in, in the whole video? Because um, there's quite a few of them. And I was actually quite surprised they believed that they believed them. But um, the, the Aboriginal thing, the reason why I mention that is because there's going to be some people from other countries that I know and they don't have a clue about the whole Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander thing. So that's why they asked me if I was one of those people. Um, the time is now 7.49am on Monday 15th of March 2021 and this record of conversation is suspended. So you'll have to give me one. Now, I'll, I'll leave this going dur during some of the um, uh, silence parts because, I don't know, some people like studying body language. Ah, so what they did now, it is, remember this is like 7.15 by now, it's probably like 7.30 or something. Um, what was I going to say? I rang, I rang a lawyer straight away. You know, they gave me the option to, they have to read out their procedural forms and all that. It's like, right. Um, and um, as soon as they gave me the opportunity, I'm like, yeah, I'll ring a lawyer. So they cut off the body cam, I rang a lawyer. And um, they said, oh, we're not actually open until 8.30 in the morning. And I thought, well, that's just, what are we going to do? And so there is a, I don't know if you'll hear it, but there is a time when I, they said, right, right, now we're going to do a search, we're going to do a search of your premises. And I said, no, 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 we're waiting until 8.30. And they said, no, no, we're going to do it anyway. I thought, you fucking pricks, is this why you pricks? Knock on your door so early because you know all the lawyers are still in bed, like I was, you assholes. But, um, yeah, they do what they want and you just have to deal with it. Alright, the time is 7.58am on Monday, 15 March go. 2021. There you go, 7.58. And is resumed. Um, so do you agree that the purposes of the suspension of the recording was for you to yep. attempt to contact legal practitioner? Uh, were you able to contact a legal practitioner? No. All right. So there was an attempt made um, to contact legal aid. Um, moving on, you have the right to an interpreter. Do you wish for an interpreter to be present? Uh, are you an Australian citizen? Yep. Yeah. Have you been arrested by an investigating official or police officer in the past 48 hours? 48 hours? Yeah. No. no. 
Um, at the completion of this interview, a copy of the recording will be made available to you as soon as practicable. Additionally, if a transcript is made of the interview, a copy will be made available to you within seven days. So what they've done now, yeah. the reason why there's no housemate there anymore is because they've done the old divide and conquer technique. They've taken him into his bedroom to have a private chat with the door closed, just so they can see if his answers to what, this, this whole thing are the same as my answers, which they will be, because he knows what's going on. I'm going on four plans. That's it. So... They were hoping to get something out of him. They started questioning him about the, you know, the, the wall of words that I called on, on the back wall there, um, thinking that it was some sort of master plan for some fucking bullshit. But he told them straight out what it was, because I've been discussing it with him. Uh, you know, the project I'm working on, I've been discussing it with him. He knows exactly what it is. So, um, yeah, his answers would have matched up with mine. So, <laughs> yeah, the old divine conquer didn't work in this circumstance, in this situation. So, as I mentioned before, I have a search warrant issued by the court authorising myself and the other police present to search these premises. Yep. I will now give you a copy of the search warrant. search warrant for the premises. Yeah. Always read anything you can This is a search warrant relating to yourself. So I'm not doing this to be an asshole. I'm not sitting there reading it just to waste their time. It's just something I learned when I was young. If you're going to sign something official, always read it properly. Especially if it's contract. See, there, there's, so there's, there's a copper to the right, <laughs> the blonde one. Uh, the girl talking is, um, she's the brown haired one. These two, one of them, I'm pretty sure it was the guy on the left, he's the detective sergeant. Um, so that's four, there were, there were four others, and right now, two, two of them are in the back with Paul, uh, and two of them are going through my room. So that's what's up right now. That yellow box down there, next to the bar fridge, is, um, that's their tool of, oh, that's their, you know, their box of tools or box of tricks or whatever they bring along to the raid. So yeah, if anyone's wondering, why do you have a big yellow box there? That's theirs. Uh, the time is now 8am and I'm going to suspend this recording for the purposes of allowing to read the warrant. Actually, that reminds me, that yellow box, uh, um, I, I walked past to go to the, the toilet once, and um, you can't, he's not there now, but a lot of the time during that, those three hours, there was this one cop who was just standing in the middle of the kitchen doing nothing, and I wondered, like, what he was doing, so, you know, I'm not one of these, like, if you're going to be in my house, do you want to, I don't know, search something, or fucking steal something, but, you know legally um because right now you're just standing in the kitchen doing fuck all and you've been there for ages and um it wasn't until a couple of days later that i realized oh shit he was standing next to the knife block you know with all the knives that he used to cut up vegetables and that sort of stuff so he was just there just to protect his mates just standing in my kitchen right next to my knife block you know i just assumed he was I don't, I don't know what the fuck, because I'm thinking, and I don't want to sound like one of these, ah, uh, 
my taxes pay your salary people. But I'm thinking like, you're doing nothing, mate. You've been there for ages. Like, why is anyone paying you to do anything? You're not doing anything. But yeah, that, that's what he was there for, I assume. But uh, that yellow box, though, I walked past. And um, I went to go to the toilet and I noticed that they were, they were on, on it. Like this, this is later on when they decide that they're going to try plants down. But, uh, they had a they had a, a gopher coming up and down those stairs uh, all the whole time, uh, just bringing things back, uh, bringing things up, taking things down. It's a lot of stairs in my apartment block. I'd have hated his job that day. But he came up and he um, he put on that yellow uh, box uh, a long. Uh, a pair of secateurs, long handled secateurs. The handles were about two foot long, right? But the blade was curved like secateur blades are, and it was only about six inches long, right? And I went to go to the toilet and I saw them on the ground, like on top of that box, these secateurs. And I, and I had a bit of a deal. I said, mate, you know, you know, cut my plants down with those. And he goes, you sure about that, mate? Yes, we are. And I went, yeah, I don't think you have it. Uh, and I walked off to go to the toilet. Now, about an hour later, uh, I'm sitting on the computer, um, trying to calm all you people down in the YouTube live chat, thinking I was about to get fucking arrested in jail. Um, thank you for, you know, being there and worrying. But um, I'm sitting on the computer, and uh, the front door's about six foot to my left. And uh, the door opens, this gopher comes back up, the stairs opens the front door and in his hand is this big saw like a hand saw you know the saw to cut things down with and it had fucking big teeth on it and I, I, I looked at it as he walked past and I thought ah oh, fuck that other cop before he must have thought I was saying you're not chopping my plants down what I actually meant by what I said was you're not chopping my plants down with those Basically because those second tiers are piss weak and the trunks of my plants were thicker than coke cans There is no way those second tiers were going to be able to cut. That's what I meant by that. But that copper Must have thought I meant he must have just thought I was being defiant and telling him like no, nah, you're not dropping plants down man And it's like no, nah, that's not what I meant. I was just giggling because <laughs> That piss weak tool ain't gonna do the job son in there, chair. Said that I said to him, does somebody want to wash me pee? Because the first time I went to go to the toilet, they went, no, 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 we're going to come with you and watch you. And I'm like, oh, right, fucking hell. Jesus, I don't care if you watch me piss, but you just, you're starting to get on my nerves. That's why I said to him just then when I needed to piss again, you know, does somebody want to watch me pee? And the guy, and the, and the copper said, yeah, we just got to check for sharp objects or whatever. You know, it's like, okay, fine, check, you go do your check, I just need to take a piss. Yeah, so they sent me um, they sent me about six or seven different files, uh, so I had to put them all together into one. And I think I got one or two of them a bit out of sequence, but this is why it chops and changes because they sent me six or seven different files. Time is now 8.54 a.m. on Monday, 15th of March, 2021. This is a resumption of conversation. With 
Um, so the purpose of the suspension of the recording was to conduct a search of the premises in which um, some items were located, which I want to ask you some questions about. Um, so I'll just get you to walk over to some items that were located. Yep, no worries. So um, yeah. these items um, were located on your desk. Tell me everything about them. Uh, it was a broken branch that happened last week, and I just chopped it off. Okay. Just to test it out, and it weighed up to about 27 grams, which obviously is yeah. more than that, yeah. 27 grams of? Yeah. Oh, of flour. Yep. From cannabis plant? Yeah. yeah. No worries at all. Um, What's well, in intention for that? No worries at all. All right. I'll give you, I'll give you a little bit of background. Yep. Um, I get quite real bad in the road. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and it's not the pressure or anything like that. But I've, I've been getting it for years. And as you notice, there's a lot of alcohol around here. I've been using that for a long time to... Uh, it slows my brain down a little bit. So I can work properly. I'm not just racing thoughts. You know yeah. what I mean? And especially the... Like, when I feel like I need to impress someone, I get real anxious. Yeah. And so what I want to do because the alcohol is not, you know, it can damage your liver or something. I, I'd rather just go home grown type stuff. That's why I'm growing. Okay. Yeah. No worries at all. Um, mm -hmm. I'll just take you out to the balcony and we'll have a chat about the balcony. On the top of his anxiety, if anyone does want to discuss that in the comments, then I'll be happy to you know, ask, you know, answer questions about my own experience. But, um, Basically, what I was saying is that I get nervous when I'm around people who whose opinion I respect. You know, their opinion of me. If if I respect their opinion of me, then I, I get bad anxiety. The reason why I don't get anxiety in a situation like this is because I don't give a fuck what the police think of me. So I'm just my normal self. But yeah. Um, what are you Thank you. Yeah. Um, so, just a couple of So, he's just reading. So that it's picked up on my yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, do you agree that during our suspension of the recorded conversation, you were given the chance to talk to Legal Aid? Yep. Yep. Um, do you agree that you've been given the chance to speak with a friend or relative? Oh, yeah. If you I choose to do yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you're a yeah. So those two things in sp specifically um, are your rights. You can use them at any time. Yeah, yeah. Okay? So you just let us know if you do. Um, and we're just going to reaffirm that that caution still applies. So you're not obliged to say or do anything, but anything you do say or do will be recorded and may later be used as evidence. Do you understand that? Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, no worries. Keep on. Cool. All right. So on your balcony, we've located um, what appears to be four mature cannabis plants. Mm -hmm. Tell me everything you can about them. I just decided to grow them just as an experiment. Um, I didn't realise they'd get this big. Okay. Because um, I'm not an experienced sort of grower. Um, that's about it. I just did some experiments with the netting and just to see, um, you know, I did my research and I just, you know. Yeah, alright. How long ago did you start growing the plants? Oh, uh, sorry. If anyone's wondering, if anyone's counting, you know, you should be probably up to at least three by now. Okay, no worries. Um, and who sort of, I guess, maintains the plants? Yep. What does that typically involve for I've you? I've watering them like 25 litres each a day. Yeah, right. Which is a pain in the arms. Okay. That's why the hose is here, because I have to run the hose into the laundry. Yeah. To fill out the tanks. Okay. Uh. And I guess, how did you come about the seeds that you needed to for the plants? Can't tell you. Yeah. They were just in a tin. In a tin? Years ago. Okay. No worries at all. Um, I guess they're quite large, these plants. Right. So what's your intention for the plants coming to the future? I'm going to use it for medicinal purposes over the next year or three. Okay. I don't know. It really depends because I have no clue. Yeah. Like how quickly I'm going to go through this stuff. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? So what's so your plan from here with the plants? How does the harvesting work? Just chop them off and dry them and then yeah. smoke it. Yeah, okay. No worries at all. And you said you've experimented, experimented a bit with the netting. Um, yeah. I guess how did you come across how to use the netting? Alright, 
Sorry. Just show us, mate. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. sleep. This isn't natural. Oh, holy shit, that's split from the storm the other day. This isn't natural. Right? I've tied these down. Okay. Right? So they grow outwards. Yep. Instead of just going straight up. Yeah. Because I, I imagine that if it did grow straight up, they'd be above her railing. Yeah. And okay. I don't want to impede on her view. Yeah. She's a nice girl. Um, Four. And she's only new to the block, too, so she doesn't really know anyone. So I don't want her to think we're all assholes around here. Yeah. But the reason why I got the netting is so I could keep, like, doing it like a vine. Okay. See how it's Yeah. Because I just came up with the idea and I thought, all right, I'm going to try something I've never seen before. Yeah. All right. And you've used that technique on all four plants. What? You've used that netting on all four plants yeah, yeah. out here? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what else out here do you help helps you in maintaining the plants? Nothing, just the, the nutrients. Just the okay. You got to use nutrients, I guess, for the Sorry? plants. Nutrients for yeah, the yeah, plants. Yeah, yeah. Well, well they need to be fed. Tell us as much as you can about the nutrients. Oh, it's just a mixture of um, nitrogen, potassium, and sulfur. Okay. With trace elements of like um, magnesium and um, calcium. Okay. Just um, I actually just realised I misspoke then. It's not sulfur. Um. But um, shout out to Diane, my mate, from, um, she knows where she's from, <laughs> for um, giving me the great idea of getting that bird feeder that the birds never used. And then when eventually they did, they turned out the erosis birds who wouldn't eat the black seeds. They only ate the white seeds. So, yeah, thanks for the advice, Diane. Can about the nutrients? Oh, it's just a mixture of um, nitrogen, potassium and sulfur. Okay. With trace elements of like... Um, magnesium and um, calcium. Okay. Um, but yeah, because plants, I don't know if you grow any plants, but they thrive on nitrogen. Yeah. Right. So that's just to balance out the nitrogen. Because yeah. we've experimented, my, my family used to have um, a crap load of uh, like tomatoes and even a fucking pumpkin plant at one point. And um, we noticed a lot of the bunny soils and shit else. Okay. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. the plants die, they can become hydrophobic. So, it's better to have some supplements to keep that MPK mm. ratio up. Yeah. So, how do you source your supplements? Sorry? How do you source your supplements? I just order them from shop. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Right, so, and you make up the mixture yourself then? Oh, well, it's just put this in and then put that in and okay. put it in the water and yeah. mix it around. No worries at all. Um, and I've just noticed you've got a camera out here as well. Yeah. Is that just, <laughs> what's that for? It's just for security. Okay. I mean, I didn't want anyone to like, because I guess at the time, she only moved in like a month or two ago. Yeah. And so it, that was empty and I didn't know who was going to move in. So I'm like, yeah, I've got to put a camera out here in case someone sort of <laughs> yeah, okay. drops a rope down. And I don't know. Yeah. All right. Keep that counter going. Um, because uh, I'm pretty certain that most of my mates that watch this will know exactly why the camera was there. Walk you inside to your bedroom. We just have something I want to ask you about in there. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to ask you about. So there was a lamp located yeah, down yeah. here. No, no. Um, sort of. That was a waste of time. All right. Can you just tell me about those lamps? Well, I bought them before I knew that you weren't allowed to have them. Okay. And so. <laughs> By the time they got delivered, because of all this COVID shit, um, it took ages. And by the time I got them, the, the plants were like thriving by themselves. Okay. So I'm like, nah, they can just stay out of there. Okay, so what was your intention originally for the lamps? To just supplemental lighting. Okay. Then I found out that you're not allowed to, and I'm like, yeah. what the fuck? Okay. So I wasted money, and now I've got to try and sell them myself. Okay. No worries. Which I hate doing. Yeah. For anyone who watched the stream, the live stream in the early days, they'll know exactly why I'm laughing right now on the inside. Oh, you just ordered them online? Sorry? You just ordered them online? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. I, yeah, I, I don't drive, so I just order everything online. Okay, no worries. Uh, if you're wondering why my um, bedroom's a mess, it's not usually a mess. There's fucking cops turning my house over right now. That's why it's a fucking mess. Don't blame me, blame them. Um, I just wanted to ask you a few questions about the house, so... Sorry, just before you go into the house, Jay, yeah. I've got a couple of questions myself. Sorry. 
So we've got two, um, yeah. what I recognise yeah. to be hydroponic growth lamps over there. Yeah. And then one about who lives at the house, um, so yourself. Yeah, I don't know why they needed that, um, but the reason why I was pointing is because my housemate's bedroom's right next to mine. So I just, natural, in, natural instinct to point out it. And now I just decide to point in other random directions for no reason. They, um, just to give you a bit, bit more information, they, when the detective sergeant first walked in, um, it wasn't on camera, but when he first walked in, he said, ah, oh, we, and for anyone that's seen the, um, for anyone that's seen the photos of what it looked like from downstairs, you'll know what I'm talking about, but the detective sergeant walked in, we'll go and have a, and said, um, ah, oh, You've got four plants. I thought you had. We thought you had a lot more than that. Because uh, from downstairs, it, it looked like there was a fuck ton of plants. When in reality, there's just four. But um, this is my theory of, of 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 their thought process during this whole fucking fiasco. They've come in thinking I've got heaps more. It's going to be an easy bust. Because um, I've gone over the limit of four plants uh, or two per person and what the law actually says uh, I found out later is if you have two people in a household and you have four plants both of you have to participate in cultivating those plants so you know my housemate would have had to have watered those plants every now and then right and I know he had nothing to do with it he was just a person that lived with me um, and so I wasn't going to dog him in. I wasn't going to, you know, I wasn't going to blame him for something that he, he didn't do. And that's why I said to him straight away in the beginning, it's, like, it's nothing to do with him, mate. You know, so, but um, what happens is the detective sergeant was grumpy the whole fucking time. The rest of them were quite cool. But um, I, I get the feeling he, he had the shits because... These guys probably would have all gotten out of bed at 4 a.m. in the morning to go and have a meeting at the station so they can come here at 7.15, you know, bust this big drug operation, you know, and it turns out, oh, fuck, no, he, he's not a major criminal. He's just a, a fucking computer nerd who likes to smoke weed. Uh, and so I feel like just just from their, from their demeanor, um, I don't know if you can tell in this video or not, but... You know, I spent three hours with these people. I could just tell that... I'm pretty sure the detective sergeant was fucking disappointed that it wasn't bigger than, what, than it actually was. Uh, and I think that's why what they did was... 
they've recognized that yeah there's only four plants then they've thought all right well what do we do next uh all right well we'll just go about weight limit um because i think later on uh they go out and they start talking about how at one point i don't know if they showed in this video but at one point that detective uh he held a, he held one of the buds in the blue cheese plant um and he said to me he goes mate even this one bud is over the weight limit and there's at least 20 or 30 of these buds on each of these plants and so <laughs> they've sort of changed their stance to try and try and get me and take my plants in in any legal possible way they can that that's the impression that i got from the whole experience I'll just make this clear for anyone that's wondering. I don't hate the police. Um, I only hate the ones that are dumb, and I only hate the ones that don't do their job properly. Um, as far as I'm concerned, if you're going to do the wrong thing by the law, it's a cat and mouse game. Sometimes you're going to get caught. I've been caught heaps of times in my life, doing all sorts of different shit. But I've never blamed the cops. I've never fucking abused them because of it. I've just copped it on the chin, mate, because I did something wrong. And it's your job to catch people who do something wrong. Unfortunately, I got caught this time. Oh, sweet as. No worries. So, yeah, I have respect for the police. I just don't have respect for the dumb ones. Not that any of these guys are dumb or incompetent. But, you know, whether you're in America or whether you're in Australia, there are incompetent and dumb cops out there. And in my experience, there's more than there should be. Um, so, my general observations, these are pretty massive. Um, like, what, so, these flowers yeah. on each of the plants, yeah. there's a lot. Um, and like, what, what, I, I understand that you've said that this was solely going to be for personal use, um, but clearly, if you were to harvest all of the flowers off this plant, yeah. you know, there would... That's the sound of the aircom. The, 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 the gopher cop uh, kept coming up and down the stairs, kept ringing the intercom. Um, but the reason why I looked was because <laughs> we've got a video screen there for the intercom, and I was actually expecting a package that day. Can't remember from what company, but I thought, oh fuck, that might be the postman. But uh, no, it was just the it was just the gopher cop coming up and down the stairs all the time. Be a huge amount, how much? A lot. Yes. Um, but clearly, if you were to harvest all of the flowers off this plant, yeah. you know, there would be a huge amount. How much? A lot. A lot, well, a lot more than you meant to have. Oh. Yeah. So, what was your intention of, with, with harvesting? I was just going to smoke it for as long as possible. Yeah, okay. Um, I don't know how long it's going to last me. Yeah. And so, I'm just going to see how long. And if I don't need to do this next year, then I won't. Because yeah. if I still have, you know, yeah. much left over, then I don't need to do it again. Plus, it's a fucking hassle, I've got to be honest. Yeah. How much do you smoke? I used to smoke about two and a half ounces a month. But that was about eight years ago. Yeah. You know, um, and that was getting expensive, so I quit. Um, but I expect to sort of smoke anywhere near that amount as well, especially without the alcohol. Yeah. Um, just because of just nervousness yeah. and just... Like I said, it, 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 it sort of like slows my brain down just a little bit so I can think clearer and code better and, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I get you. Um, uh, do you, do you, do you, so you've mentioned anxiety before. Yeah. Um, do you suffer from it, from, can you just tell me about any, uh, and it's entirely up to you. Yeah. It's just for our awareness. Um, do, do you have, what, what's your current mental health condition at the moment? Um, condition or state, or are you dying? Like yeah, I'm going to be honest. Sorry, mate. Chilly. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Let's close the door if you want. Yeah, could you put the garbage on here? Sorry. Yeah, keep going. Alright. Ah, it's still here. It's alright, it's just mainly yeah. for audio more than visual. Um, it's probably 
you about? Eventually quit that job because I, I couldn't handle. It. I, I was waking up in the middle of the night every night just sweating. You know, the bed was soaked every night. I had to go and sleep on the like couch with a towel. That's how bad my stress was. And so I, I nearly had like a. I must have had like a nervous breakdown or something like that. And so I ended up seeing this psychologist, and I ended up just like working for myself. And uh, that's why I work for home because most of my work's online. I see all of it's online. And. Uh, and so I started to rebuild myself, but I, I still noticed that like I get severe anxiety in certain situations. You know, like there was one time where I had to go and help my um, my, my partner's mother, like she's a hoarder. We were going to clean her house out. But as soon as I got there, because she's like a superior to me, like I want to try and impress her, I just I couldn't do anything. So I'm sitting in her bed, not her bedroom, but her daughter's bedroom, just. I can't handle it. Which is disappointing because I try not to sit in for that. But that, that gives you a, a bit of an impression of just what's going on yeah. in my head. Because I can't control it. And I really don't want to be on that. Because, you know, I've talked to other people about this and they're going, oh, go to the doctor, you can get pills. And I don't really want to be addicted to Xanax, you, you know, or whatever other pill they give you. Um, I'd rather just sort of go to the medicinal route. Um, because, yeah, I, I used to know people 20 years ago who were addicted to pills like that, and it's not good. Um, have you spoken to a, to a psychologist or a GP or anything about, like, your options, your medication options to, to help? Pretty sure I just fucking went over that, Mr. Copper. But, um, <clears throat> if you want to know why I'm a bit frustrated with this cop, is, with this detective, it's because he's the one that stood there. And some of you growing mates, you know what I'm talking about. He stood there in front of the gaming TV and uh, I was standing there at the desk at one point during this morning. Uh, and um, the detective sergeant was standing to, to the right in, in the entrance of the hallway. And they were both just standing there and they were both just fucking staring out in the balcony. And I'm standing there, and this is after like hour two, so I'm standing there thinking like, can you fucking pricks just hurry up and do your shit and fuck off? Because I've got work to do here. And, uh, and, and then all of a sudden the, um, the, detect uh, the detective to my left, the guy that's speaking to me now, he, um, he, he said, mate, I've got to say, that those are the biggest plants I've ever seen. And I was, I'm like, fuck, you got to get out more, man. Fuck, you do raids all the time. Jesus. He goes, I reckon 
I reckon they'd have to be about two pounds each. And I, because I'm just, I'm just acting dumb, right? Just like I was before. So I'm like, oh wow, really? Oh shit, I didn't know they were, oh wow, I didn't know they were going to be out. Oh wow, okay. And uh, to the right, the detective sergeant just had a bit of a giggle and said, no mate, four pounds each, easy. I'm like, fuck, are you kidding me? He goes, no, no, I reckon that's a bit, I'm like, that's good, because the four pounds each was the target I was going for. So if they were right, then <laughs> I, I reached my target. Unfortunately, they stole my plants, though. Um, I did speak to a psychiatrist, and I think... I can't remember who gave me this, but someone years ago gave me Seracle. You heard of that? Yeah. I'd never heard of it. Um... And I don't really think that did anything, you know. Um, I, I thought it made me sleep better, but then when I spoke to the psychiatrist, this is in the nursery, in Sydney, um, he said, well, that's strange because it doesn't have that effect. And I'm like, I don't want to tell you, Doc. Like, I feel like it does. But that's about the only thing. Yeah. That's the only thing they gave me. Yeah. And once it ran out, I sort of just didn't take anymore because nothing really changed. Yeah. So... So there is, I mean... I was severely depressed back then, though, because I'd been forced out of the job, like, stitched up, sort of thing. So I was depressed for a while there, but I'm not depressed anymore, but I still have that severe anxiety in certain situations. When was the last time that you saw someone like that? Probably about eight, eight or so years ago. Um, so, uh, like, you know, I'm, I'm not a medical expert, yeah, yeah. obviously, but um, the only recommendation I can say is that, you know, manage these, I would recommend that you really do need to talk to professionals, oh, yeah. there's lots of different medications. Um, well, yeah. Unfortunately, I mean, the psychologist, she was doing a thing they call CBT, so cognitive behavioural therapy, um, and it's basically, it, if I remember correctly, it basically tries to teach you to look differently in certain situations, and um, which is cool, but after my free 10 sessions, they, they had to charge me, and I didn't have money back then. So I was just in an unfortunate situation where I had to try and cure it myself. So. so a couple of times you referred to cannabis that you're cultivating as medicinal. Yeah. Um, have you what what um, what do you mean by that? And do you have prescriptions or have you consulted with pardon? Okay. Um, have you consulted with medical professionals about medicinal cannabis options for you? Um, from what I understand, because I have researched it, okay, it's really expensive. I've seen some prices, um, and yeah, unfortunately, I mean, I'm, when I say unfortunately, because of the fact that a lot of these people are old and on the pension, I can't imagine that they'd be able to afford it regularly. Um, it's only new, so who knows. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, um for any Americans that are watching this day, um, medicinal cannabis is only fairly new in Australia uh, and it is quite ex more expensive than buying it illegally from someone else. Um, it's, it's, and what I was saying to the cop was it's a bit of a shame because, you know, there's old, there's old pensioners out there who, you know, have things they need to be treated with, say CBD and all that sort of stuff, but we're talking about old age pensioners that are getting welfare from the government because they're poor. Uh, and so the fact that our medicinal cannabis is so expensive, you know, it's a bit of a shame that they probably wouldn't be able to access it because of their money problems. Any other questions at all? No, I don't think so. So, um, we are going to take the clients. Why? Because there's a limit of two per person, mm -hmm. or four per household with two per person. Yeah. Um, your house, they're not your housemates' clients. Oh, okay, they're so you're going to take two of them? No, I'm going to take all four. Why, why all four? For evidence. At the end of the day, if you, you would like to dis if you would like to dispute the criminality yeah. of having four plants as mm -hmm. one person, that's totally up to you and uh, that's entirely your right. And that's why we need to take all four, because we need all four analysed to say, from, a, from a, our ACT Government Analytical Laboratory, these are cannabis plants. If we take two, why can't you just take a sample? We don't do that. 
<laughs> yes, that's what that's what that's what our advice is from the, our experts that we must take the whole thing. Experts, the experts say that you can't just take a sample of a plant and analyze it and and uh, um, uh, you know determine that it's cannabis. Uh, you can't even just look at it and determine that it's cannabis because you know that'd be logical. cool. But uh, who's who's the person doing the lying now? I think it's you, Mr. Detective. What I, what I was saying before about the fact that they sort of they sort of felt disappointed um, and they sort of kept changing the reason as to why they took my plants. This is why. They'd made up their mind and they were trying to find any reason to take them because they wanted to uh, and they're the police. And there's seven, there's eight of them and there's one of me and I'm not about to go to jail for fucking fighting the cops over fucking plants. So, it's kind of like, I understand that the cannabis laws here in the ACT are complicated. Alright, but at the end of the day, uh, you can't have four, you can only have two. Okay, so that's why we're taking them. I'm satisfied that the dry cannabis that you've got over there yeah. is less than yeah. the personal possession amount. We will not take that. Mm -hmm. um, that's, you know, I understand that you're dealing with the issues of dealing with, you've explained that to us, and that's part of the reason why we're deciding not to take that, even though it's listed on the warrant. Is that as fair as I can be? To you. I well, know I mean, if, you, if you did take stuff like that, then I suppose it would be unfair. Yeah. But I still think that's that's not what I'm worried about. I'm still worried about the fact that you're taking all four when you should only be taking two. Yeah. Well, I'm telling you that we're going to take all four, um, and that's you know we're not going to. I don't think we're ever going to agree on that. You see, he said before you're only allowed to have two, but he keeps saying we're going to take all four. And that's why I pulled him up on it and said, well, I've got a problem because I'm only allowed to have two, so, you know, basically just takes it. No, they'd made up their mind already, you know, uh, and I think part of the reason why is they were just disappointed, the fact that they didn't get a bigger bust than they thought they were going to get. So, we're taking it under the power of the warrant, um, and that's what we're doing. Yeah, okay. I just want to clean my glasses. You're right. Mm. Sorry. Happy to conclude the conversation no, for now. Keep going. What's going on? Sure. So um, we'll be taking the plants. We'll be taking the um, the hydroponic cultivation yeah, yeah, lamps. Yeah, yeah, that's um, and there might be a couple of other things that the guys have found. I'm not too sure. Um, but, but we will be doing that. The only other recommendation that I can give to you is that we have um, options available to for the clearance of criminal offences. One of which is a, what we call a drug diversion. Yeah, yeah. That's an education program that can also provide you with the option of getting in touch with um, professionals that can help you work through the issues that you're dealing with. Is that something that you would be um, uh, willing I mean, to accept? I'm pretty sure I can find the info myself. I'm on a computer all day anyway. Yeah. Um, but that would be a manner in which we could clear the offence of cultivating more plants than you're allowed to instead of sending you to court or giving you a criminal caution. It's entirely up to you if you would like to seek legal advice and dispute the criminal liability yep. that we're alleging, um, but we're not going to refer you to a drug diversion or give you a criminal caution if you dispute the liability. It sounds like you duck people in the corner. We work within the law. I don't mean the group. Mm. We, like work, not we work within the law. That's what it sounds like. We work within the law. That's all there is to it. If you've got issues with the law, I could only suggest that you speak with our parliamentarians. Yeah. I know that's you are. Yep. Sorry. I'm You're going wrong. to keep it. <laughs> the reason why I had that yeah moment is because it was my way of saying it's not going to happen. I'm not going to even go and bother fucking talking to, talking to our politicians about this because most politicians are fucking scumbags anyway who only care about their own careers than, than the people that they're supposed to be serving. But um, this detective that's talking to me right now, I, I didn't finish what I was saying before about, you know, how he said, you know, they're the biggest plants he's ever seen. About 10 minutes after that, you know, we're still standing in the, um, in the lounge room and I'm 
standing there just waiting for these idiots to do their job. And the detective and the detective sergeant are standing, you know, near me, not to, because of the threat or anything, we were all just standing in our lounge room watching these people do their thing. Um, and this detective, I couldn't believe it, and my, 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 my Aussie mates know, my Aussie mates online, they know what I'm talking about. This detective stood there. Okay, first of all, I was growing in cocoa perlite, right, 7030 cocoa perlite. Uh, I was using Canna, Canna nutrients, you know, from the brand name Canna, for anyone that doesn't know. Um, standard stuff. No, no PGRs, no plant steroids, or whatever you want to call them, right? That's not why they were so big. They were so big because I spread the cunts out with the netting. Uh, and so much light got onto so many different nodes that they just, they went up. Uh, and that's why they're so big. Uh, they're in 150 litre grow bags. Um, thanks Billy, Billy for suggesting those. <laughs> um, but this, this detective was standing there, sort of a little bit amazed, uh, and talking about how they're the biggest plants he's ever seen. But then, then he starts telling me things that basically indicated that it's like he was teaching me how to grow. And, you know, I'm just... <sighs> this guy, he kept talking about... He, he, first of all, he pointed to the, to the nutrients and he said, mate, those things there, that, in, in that bottle, that's why they're so big. And I went, oh, really? That's, that's just... That, those are just nutrients. And he goes, what sort of dirt have you got? And I went, he goes, well, what are you growing them in? I went, cocoa. He goes, ah, oh, cocoa, yes. Yes, it's an inert medium. Um, I'm like, yeah, right, okay. Yeah. You know, and then he, did, he kept talking about shit as if he was trying to teach me how to grow, even though 10 minutes before he told me they're the biggest plants he's ever seen. Like, shouldn't you be asking me for advice on how to grow? Fuck me dead. It was ridiculous. But when it comes to dumb cunts in uniform, you've just got to stand there and just act like an idiot and pretend that they know more than you and they're superior to you because that's what they like to hear, you know what I mean? See, with normal dumb cunts, you can just tell them to shut the fuck up, you don't know what you're talking about, leave me alone. But with dumb cunts in uniform, you've got to appease them because, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure you know what I'm saying. Well, these guys are going to go out and start taking out the plants anyway, okay? So, but we can right. have a talk. But, um, why can't I speak to a lawyer and see whether that's legal first? Well, that's entirely up to you. You can talk to a lawyer if you like. But we're telling you that it's legal and we're seizing them under the warrant. But you'd have to stop what you're doing while I talk to that lawyer. No. So basically, I can't get more, even if I do speak to a lawyer, they're going to do whatever they want anyway, and I can fight it later in court. Now, they gave me three options, well he gave me three options. He said, here's, here's your choices, when they started dragging the plants out, he said to me, right, we've got three choices for you, you can either go to a drug diversion program, or I'm like, no. Nah. He goes, you can take it to court, I said, well what's the point? Because I asked the lawyer and I said, mate, if we take this to court, even if I win, I've been to court heaps of times in my life. It takes fucking nine months or something for this shit to get done. By that time, the plants have been in police storage for God knows, well, for nine months. Even if I win, I'm going to get back dead plants. So what's the fucking point in taking it to court? Uh, and the lawyer was basically, yeah, that's pretty much how it's going to go. And so I said, so when he gave me those three options, it was basically drug diversion, no. Court, no. And, or we'll just give you a formal caution. I'm like, yeah, just give me the caution. Then. Oh. oh, and then I found out later that the caution doesn't actually go on your criminal record. Not that it matters. I don't care about having grown plants on my fucking criminal record. There's worse shit on there than that. But it doesn't even go on your criminal record. So it's like, just give me the fucking caution and take your plants and fuck off, will ya? Like, I didn't say that to them, but that's what I was thinking. Can you show me anything like that? Like, I want to make sure everything's... Yeah, helpful. well, you've got a copy of the warrant. The warrant lists kind of plants on there. Yeah, I saw that. But that, it's not really clear. Because... Just the fact that... 
it should be uh, two per person. Like that's what the law on the ACT government website says. You know, like four per household, two per person. Depending on who's living there. Well, I'm going to be super open with you. Yep. When we walked past here mm -hmm. and had a look at the balcony, it looked like you had well and truly more than four plants up there. But it just so happens that they're just yeah. massive plants. Right. Totally cool. Oh, yeah. If I, if I had a door, I'd, I'd be quite open. Yeah. I wouldn't. Be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to sit to the door. Yeah. Um, uh, and so that's, so that's why the offence listed on there is cultivating more than four panels of plants. There's not more than four panels of plants. There's four. But you're only allowed to be close to Yeah, which we are. Okay, so tell me about that. Well, there's two people in the household. Yeah. And we're four plants. Yeah, but your housemate has nothing to do with your plants. Yeah. Can so I they're, not, no. they're not his plants. No. Yeah. No, your he doesn't, doesn't even so He's just, like I said, that guy's the most timid. Nice. He wouldn't know why that was. Yeah. Really nice guy. Yeah. Um, but I do want to bring up the um, the, the, the laws here, though. Yeah. But I do. Yeah. I don't know. Fill your boots. Do whatever you want. That's that's totally fine. But I'm but I'm but I'm not going to have a legal argument with you about the law because the law is the law. That's all there is for. Yeah. Well, no. That's what I'm disputing. Yeah. That's that's just why I wanted to bring it up. Well, like I said to you before, I'm, I'm we are more than happy to clear this by way of a. He, he missed that. I asked him a question and he totally missed it. He missed it. I was actually interested in knowing the answer to that question because of the fact that he said something to me just then that I've only ever heard Irish people say. Actually, I'm the only person I've ever heard. Well, I, I say it myself too, but um, I'm not Irish. Um, but that's just because you know, I've known people over the years. But I've never heard or grown up with anyone who's ever said what he said. And what he said was, um, go on and fill your boots. Um, which for anyone outside of Ireland means, like, get on with it. You know, if you're going to do something, go and do it. You, you know, fill your boots. Um, but, and that's why I asked him, uh, I, was a bit, I was a bit surprised. Because when I heard him say it, I'm like, are you Irish? Uh, and he, he totally ignored that question. I mean, I wasn't asking him to be a dick, like, ah, you are Irish, you're Duncan. No, no, no. I was just curious because I'd never heard anyone else say that apart from me and Irish people. Yeah, but I do, yeah, I don't know, fill your boots, do whatever you want. That's, that's totally fine. But I'm, but I'm, but I'm not going to have a legal argument with you about the law because the law is the law. That's all there is for it. Yeah, well, no, that's what I'm disputing. Yeah. That's that's just why I want to bring it up. Well, well like I said to you before, I'm, I'm we are more than happy. All right, just quickly, uh, for my American mates, um, on the left there's the Everett Cam. On the left, in the right corner at the bottom is the Everett Chat. Um, so you know, especially for Jan, she knows who she is. This is why I, I always had in the corner of my eye, the chat happening. Uh, and so, yeah, was, thanks for accusing me of certain things over the years. This chat on the right here is actually the YouTube studio, the live studio. Uh, and the chat on the right is where all you people, there are about 50 people at the time while this is all going down, freaking out. Um, but thank you for caring. But you're all freaking out thinking I'm gonna get arrested and I was in the three hours of them doing their thing, there were there were a lot of times when I was just standing around, just like, oh, for fuck's sake, this is boring as shit, man. Hurry up! So I just sat down at the computer and just, you know, checked on things. And that that there is the YouTube live stream of the fucking camera on the balcony, and they didn't even notice. So yeah, good work, detectives. But yeah, that's the chat on the right screen on the right. Um, this, on the middle screen, it's from the night before. See, all this is from the night before, because obviously they woke me up. This is all from the night before. So last uh, the night before, I was reading Reddit late at night, like I used to, uh, before Reddit became a shithole. And um, at one point, the detective sergeant came up to my computer, uh, not while I was at it. Uh, I was just wandering around the lounge room and waiting for him to do their thing. And I noticed that he was he, he was bent over and he was staring at the middle screen at, at Reddit, and um, 
it happened to be on, I think it was the Australian subreddit, because I just wanted to check the news, you know, different news articles. And one of them was about public servants of, you know, the government of Canberra and the people who work there. It was just a headline. And um, I saw him and he was bent over and he was staring at the screen like he needed fucking glasses. And so I just casually walked up to him and I said, you, what you reading there, mate? And he goes, public servants. And, and then he re read the rest of the headline and I, and I thought to myself, you know, you don't give a shit about the news about public servants, mate. You, you, you're looking at this, my screens to see if there's anything incriminating on there. I don't know what you're fucking doing. What like dumbass. To clear this by way of a drug diversion or a formal criminal caution. But if you'd like to dispute it, we can just kick, we can kick straight to a summons and, and you can have a look at your, no, your legal. I'm not being argumentative. I what? just want to make sure that my wife's You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. I'm not yeah. trying to be a dick. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And neither are we. Yeah. Oh no, that's why I'm being nice to you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, you have a look at the laws and whatnot as much as you like. Yeah. Uh, you familiarise yourself with it and you just let us know how you would like to proceed because. We're more than happy to refer the matter to court if you if you want to dispute it. That's totally your right, and that's fine. That's no problem with that at all. Alternatively, we have the diversion options out of the criminal justice system, which is that drug diversion. And what does that involve? Uh, so that involves mandatory attendance of a, at a course where they will be able to provide you with um, harm minimisation treatment options. Yeah, so can you go into detail about that? I, I, don't, I, don't have a great, I don't have a great deal that but we can get it for you. Right. Or we can issue you with a formal criminal caution, which means that you acknowledge that the conduct that you've engaged in is criminal. However, we don't refer you to court. It's simply cleared by a criminal caution. Police have come around and they've said, don't do that again. I just want to make sure that you're informed, that's all. Yeah, yeah, I don't I just didn't feel like I should... I should be talking to someone. Yeah. Do you want to talk to Lee Wade again? Yeah, I do. Yep. Um, well, why don't you have a read, talk to Lee Wade again, no, and then we'll come I'm back ready. to you. Cool. All right. Uh, the time is now 9.22 a.m. and this record of conversation is suspended. Did you notice that he's starting to become a bit of a cockhead? All because I feel like I should talk to a lawyer about my legal rights. Mm. Thanks, Mr. Detective, for protecting the community and their rights. What are you all hanging out in the hallway for? Fucking go on the balcony and do some stuff. And hurry up. I should have been fucking working by now. Oh, this is early on, because I'm back on the couch. The reason why I know this is early on, I must have mixed these videos around. The reason why I know this is early on is because I, I can't just sit there on the couch. My, my missus, my ex-missus used to get the shits in me about this, because I can't just sit on the couch and watch a movie or something. I always have to be doing something else at the same time. I don't mean sitting there playing fucking stupid Candy Crush or anything. Just, just fucking anything. I, I need to be doing two or three things at the same time. That's why I have monitors everywhere. Um, and so it sort of annoyed me for the first half an hour because they wanted me to sit on the couch. And I had to explain to them. I said, listen, I'm not used to doing one thing at the same time. It, it, it fucking agitates me and it, and it drives my brain crazy. I need to be doing more than one thing. So that's why I walk, I'm walking around. I'm grabbing things. Um, because of the fact that I can't just stand there and talk to someone. I always have to be doing something else at the same time. It's weird. I don't know if that means I'm mental or not, but that's just me, mate. Alright, the time is now 8.05am. Yeah. Uh, do you agree the purposes of the suspension was for you to read the document yeah. I gave you and to go to the bathroom? Um, so do you agree that I've provided you with a copy of the search warrant and the rights of occupy yep. a person search? Do you have any questions about those at this stage? Not about those. Okay. So keeping in mind the caution that you do not have to say or do anything, but anything you do say or do may be used in evidence, is there anything named in the warrant on these premises? S sorry? Is there anything named on the warrant that you read in the premises? Technically there is, but they are making it. Okay. 
No worries. What are you referring to there? Like things like the foil I found okay. humorous. Um, I mean, if you check the oven, there's foil in there. If you cook, you can... All right. No worries. Is there? Any I do a lot of cooking, or I used to, when I had something to cook for now, I'm just lazy. But um, uh, the, the reason why I said that about the foil, the like aluminium foil, or as the Americans incorrectly pronounce it, aluminum. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, the reason is because the warrant actually said, the, the search warrant that I was reading earlier on said that... Um, they are going to be looking for things like uh, sandwich bags. They're going to be looking for things like scales. Uh, they're going to be looking for things like aluminium foil. Um, and that's why I said to her, I said, well, technically there is stuff on on that warrant that is in my house, but, I mean, you know, it's for cooking, it's for baking, you know. Scales, you need to, fuck, if you're making your own bread, mate, you need to make sure the measurements are fucking accurate, right? Just like you need to make sure your nutrients for your cocoa is bit, are accurate, otherwise shit's going to get fucked up. Um, so I did have scales in the kitchen, and I did have sandwich bags in the kitchen, because who the fuck doesn't? I did have aluminium foil, because again, who the fuck doesn't? Um, they didn't notice that I had a small amount, uh, I had a smaller scale on my desk, um, which is used for measuring out wheat. But <laughs> I didn't notice that I had those. But um, good work, detectives. Uh, but, but yeah, I did have stuff in the kitchen, but it's all for cooking. Like, um, I wasn't lying that, that time. Anything in the premises you wish to declare prior to police searching or anything that may be of concern for officer safety? Oh, no. No, no. All right. no worries. Um, so the time is now 8.06am and I'll suspend this recording for the purposes of conducting a search of the premises. Oh, no, no. We're waiting until 8.30. Um, so, uh, like I said previously, so if you attempted to communicate with a legal practitioner, which is the right we're required to give you, um, so we've provided you with that right and a search of the premises will now be conducted. Okay, but you can't take anything from here until uh, I speak to someone. So if you've attempted to speak with a legal yeah. practitioner, we'll carry out the search. Right. If at that point legal aid are available, we will arrange for you to have a conversation with them. Time is still 8.06am and this record of conversation is concluded. So in other words, we're going to do whatever the fuck we want. Um, and later on, if your lawyer says to us, ah, you shouldn't have done that, then we'll, we'll say sorry, maybe. Uh, which is no fucking use to anyone but living plants, right? Yeah. Very interesting, isn't it? Very interesting. There's probably Americans out there thinking, wow, these cops are so different. They're so much nicer than our cops. They seem to go by the law. And then you hear shit like that, and you're like, hmm, righto. Maybe that's not as true as I thought it was. Yeah. Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah, I did get the videos out of sequence. Sorry about that. So as you can see, they've actually finally, this is like fucking hour three, they've finally gotten their shit um, and um, they've still got a couple of brown bags. Now, unfortunately, um, an Australian mate of mine, an online mate of mine, um, sorry, when I say unfortunately, I was about to say something else then. An Australian mate of mine uh, was watching the, stream, the live stream when, the whole, when this whole thing went down, uh, and he managed to grab a few pictures of the blonde um, police officer uh, Sniffing her fingers, they, when they were bagging up the the, um, the weed in, in in their little AFP bags, um, which is quite hilarious because the the sour diesel that was on the left, um, it was quite big, and the detective sergeant. I was sitting at the computer, um, just fucking talking to you blokes and girls, and um, I turned to my right, and there's the detective sergeant by himself trying to wrestle this fucking big plant into the bag and um, I don't know if I mentioned it before but some of the conversations uh, I was I don't know I was just I was trying to poke fun at them in the nicest way possible at any opportunity I could um, and so there were some quite funny moments from my perspective um, so I'm spewing that they didn't that they don't they don't record all three hours I'm fucking spewing because this copper was, um, 
on the balcony bagging this detective sergeant was out and uh, um, bagging shit up and it looked like he was having a bit of a struggle with it because the plant was so big and um, I wanted to I was about to say something to him just to be a smart ass and I thought no 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 I've spent two hours or three hours with this guy already and I can tell that he is a fucking grumpy cunt. He's not going to take too lightly. I said a few smart ass things to the other coppers and they took it, you know, they just, ah, uh, he's just having a joke. And he's like, ah. But um, he he would not have taken it lightly, so I thought, ah, no, I better shut my mouth this time. <laughs> Got a picky battle sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Diane's bird feeder again. Look at you. Uh, this record comes. East Coast is resumed. The do you agree the time is now 10 04 a.m.? No, no. Right, no 10 04 on my watch here. Um, so the search of the premises is complete, and before we leave, uh, of property officer will go through and explain the property we're taking from the premises. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's an example of the sort of things I was saying to them. And they, and they were taking it on the chin, like, like good people, you know what I mean? She said, can you confirm it's 1004? So I thought, yeah, you want me to confirm it's 1004? I'll look at my fucking computer. Yeah, no, it says it's 1004. And that's why she laughed and said, well, my watch says it's 1004. Well, <laughs> I'm not confirming it's 1004 then, am I? Because I'm not the one wearing a fucking watch. That's what I was thinking when I said that. I was like, as soon as I heard the word confirm, I thought, yeah, I'll confirm. Here we go. Because uh, we all know, computers are pretty accurate when it comes to the time. I don't know what the fuck's going on with her watch. It's three minutes behind. She's probably late for work after a fucking week. Gotta fix that shit up. So during the search warrant, police uh, process police have secured a number of items uh, that have been seized and moved. Those items have been packaged, labelled and recorded on these two property seizure reports. Yep. Um, I'll now go through the property seizure movements records and show you the items they correspond to. Okay. So, this first PSR, which is 492991, yeah. refers to the two heat lamps. This is yeah. these two heat lamps in bag seal number 861846. Okay. And then property seizure record 492. 990 refers to the four mature cannabis plants and the bags of all the sundry leaves and heads that we fit the bag of. And their seals number 861852, 861851, 861850, 861856, 861855, 861854, 861853, and 861857. Uh, do you agree that that is all the property that police are taking and there is no other property not listed on the property seizure movement report record? Would you sign these? Yep. yep. Well, after that, I'll... you don't have to. You so it's don't have to, but... just you recognising that we're taking the items from the house. So it's your receipt, essentially. Right on. So it's just there and then the same one. Give me another bag. Give me another bag. Do I have to write as well? It's up to you if you wish. answers you have provided during this conversation being made of your own free will. Yep. Has any threat, promise or inducement been held yep. out to you to provide the answers you've given? Do you have any additional comments you wish to say? No. no. Alright, so the time on my watch now is 10.06am on Monday 15 March 2021 and this record of conversation is now concluded. Whoop. So basically, um, what happened after that? It was, it was fucking weird because they left. You know, it's all like, all right, well, we're going now. All right, see you later. And, um, and uh, you know, I, I closed the door after him and I was standing in the, in the lounge room just thinking like, wait, hang on. They said they were going to give me a caution. Like, surely you have to sign something. 
the, the only thing I've signed is, is, is a piece of paper that says, hey, we took this shit from your house. And it's like, yep, yeah, no worries. What, what, what about this fucking cool shit? And so, um, for anyone that saw my um, video called um, and the cops are slow typers, the caution was one and a half pages long. Right, well, one and a half pages short. And uh, it took them five fucking weeks to type up. That's why the video is called The Cops Are Slow Typers. Now, um... Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, no, what happened there? Oh, that's a church in um, Norway that someone set on fire. I just like the... I don't know, it just looks like, it, it, he called it mid-explosion, this photographer, anyway. Uh, so that's why I made that video. Um, so, 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 so what happened, right, in the lead up to that video, in that five weeks, I'm sitting there for five weeks at my house just doing my normal work and stuff. And uh, I'm thinking, so am I fucking cautioned or not? What, what's the go? Uh, and so what happened was, all of a sudden one day I got a random phone call. Um, and now I'm going to call her Jenny because I won't. But we're talking about the, the, the police officer woman, the, um, the brown head one, right? Um, she just, let's just call her Jenny. All of a sudden I get this fucking random phone call and I pick up the phone and she goes, Hi Jay, it's Jenny. I'm like, Jenny, Jenny. She goes, the brown haired one. I went, ah, right, you... Are you the one that came to my house and stole my plants? She goes, yeah, that's me. I'm like, all right, yeah, what are you after? She goes, I, I need you to come down to the police station to sign the caution. I'm like, hey, no. Nah. Why don't you come to my house? You know where it is. You've been here before. And she goes, yeah, that's fine. When are you available? And this was a Thursday afternoon. So I'm like, all right, well, what if you come around about 4 p.m.? Because um, th there's a pub down the road from my house um, and sh she works locally so she'd know the pub that I'm referring to and I said to her why don't you come over at 4pm that way you can knock off early with your mates and you can go to the pub I'll sign a caution off you go and she goes oh no I'm not available this afternoon what about tomorrow I'm like alright tomorrow what time 5pm yeah that's fine I'm like All right, well, hey there's my dog in the bucket um and so she came over with her blonde mate. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but they're actually quite both, both, both quite attractive. But um, I don't go out of coppers uh, because I don't want to be questioned about my lifestyle and about whether I, you know what I mean. I just, I just don't want a girlfriend that's going to sit there and go, "Oh, are you sure you could do? You should do that. It's, it might not be be legal." It's like, hey, fuck, here we go. Always talking about the canning can't do. Fuck me, dude. Um, so I don't want that, and so I'd never go out with a copper. That's not to say I'm a massive criminal. I just sometimes I like to skirt the line, and I don't want people fucking questioning me, especially someone I'm having sex with. Put up with that shit, you know. But uh, and it's the same as government workers. I've gone out with one of them, and they do the same thing. They always fucking question you. Oh, should we be doing this? It might not be the right side sake all right whatever. that's it so um, I have, um no cops and no government workers for me if there are any females out there um but like i said i'm not a fucking i'm not a scumbag or anything like that i just like to skirt the line every now and then but um that's about it i can't think of anything else that needs to be said um that's what happened that day so yeah, i suppose that's about that's about it. If you've got any questions, just put them in the, in the comments. I'll, I'll be happy to answer them because there is a lot more that what happened that day than than, um, than what you saw. And I know there are a lot of people out there who do like to grow themselves or grow plants themselves. Uh, and they are in Australia and they might have questions about the just the legal aspect of that sort of shit. Because like I said, there's a lot of stuff that wasn't actually in that video. Um, but yeah, apart from that, that was a good one. Uh, and Cliff, I hope you enjoyed the nipples, mate. <laughs>